Hello everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate you how can you lock and unlock Google spreadsheet. I have already created a, <coughs> a spreadsheet, a spreadsheet, and this is my spreadsheet. And I am going to lock this spreadsheet, but I am not going to lock this total spreadsheet. Instead of I am going to use the brains. And I have selected this uh, this row. This is D three row. And I'm going to log this D3 row. Okay. To log this D3 row, at first I uh, you have to select this row. Then you have to go into the data section. Click on the data section, and you will find that protect sheet and drains. Then you have to choose this protect sheet and drains, and there will be an option add a sheet or drains. You have to click on this, and my sheet drains there is a range for this sheet and there is the option for selecting the whole sheet if i click on the sheet then it will select the whole sheet and this is the sheet one that is why it has been written here the uh, sheet one and you can uh, enter a description or you can you can you have a choice you may or may not enter the description description i am not using the description and i am not going to lock the whole sheet rather than i am going to lock a particular range that is why i am choosing the range and my range is d3 and after choosing this range already i have chosen this or alternatively you can choose this one d3 or d4 you can choose d4 then d4 will be locked okay at first i am going to lock the d3 after choosing the d3 sheet i am going to click on the set permission and you, now a new pop-up window will open and it will show that show a warning when editing this range or restrict who can edit this range and under this you can custom this this range if you click on custom then you can set who can edit this by entering the email address of the person who can edit this you will uh, allowing the person uh, I have entered this email and this person will be able to edit this sheet. If I click on the done, it has been done. It is locked and it can be edited by the person that I have entered the email of this person. Now I'm going to lock this one, this uh, D4 sheet and clicking on the right button. You can also find this option, clicking on the right button, you will find the option, the protect prints and this is a d4 range i'm not going to uh, enter any description just i'm going to set the permission and in this time i am not uh, going to allow anybody to edit this sheet and this is only me i'm clicking the on the done and now let's check uh, whether these two uh, uh, rows has been locked or not okay now i am going to use the share option I click the share option you will get a link copy the link link of it and it, it has been uh, it has been set in such a way that anyone with this link can edit this sheet but i have logged these two cells and nobody will be able this able to edit this sheet now i am going to open this sheet in the another window this is another window where i am going to trying to edit this d3 sheet uh, in another window i am going to i am going to add this is another window and i am going to put this link in this window and the sheet has been opened now since i have locked this row d3 i will not be able to edit or enter any value in this d3 or d4 d4 row Let's see. You can see that there, uh, there uh, comes up a warning that there is a problem. You are trying to edit a protected cell or object. Please contact the spreadsheet owner to remove the protection if you need to edit it. Okay, now let's see what happens in case of a D4. The same thing happens. It indicates that it has been already been, it is already been protected. Now uh, let's move on how uh, how uh, you are going to remove this protection to protect this uh, to remove this protection you have to choose the range 
and the range was d3 and d4 okay now at first i have to the d3 d d4 this is d4 uh to remove the remove the protection you have to choose this range from the from the range and you have to click on the delete button and after clicking the delete button you will find this you are are you sure you want to remove this protected range anyone who has edited who has edit access to the spreadsheet will be able to edit the contact in the range and you have to click on the remove now d3 uh, d4 has been opened and i am also going to remove the protection from the d3 i have to find out the d3 from this range d3 and there's the d3 now click on this d3 and like the d4 there uh, opens up this window and you can see that there is a delete option delete range or respect uh, sheet protection now click on this delete option and click on this remove now this two spreadsheet has been unlocked then now let's see how uh, whether this unlocking has been done properly or not now you can uh, see that I have opened this spreadsheet in the uh, previous window and now I am going to input a value for uh, input a value into the code. and you can see that uh, this two spreadsheet cell has been unlocked in this way you can lock and unlock the spreadsheet but I have locked this uh, d5 cell and that is why if I want to put any value this protection warning warns but the D3 and D4 has been successfully unlocked.